Lake St. Clair is just a special place because if you really look at this lake, it's a massive flat. And if you looked at the, you know, a lot of the lakes throughout the country that stay, number one, good, stay popular, the common denominator is flats. Areas fish can reproduce and areas where fish can just eat. And that's what Lake St. Clair is. This protein journal was supposed to be up north. We were gonna go, you know, towards the Mackinac Bridge and all birch and white oak and all kinds of pretty northern Michigan. And the thing is, when you get a weather window on Lake St. Clair, you take it because you never know the magic that can happen out here. I remember making the call to the crew that handles protein journal and you never wanna do this like three days prior, but I looked at the winds and what was coming and it was gonna be really, really cold right when they landed. But the winds, most of all, most of all, the lights, the lights were finally gonna turn on. And when that sun shines and, and collides with warmth, one thing's gonna happen, they're coming. They are absolutely coming. Biggin. No, not a big one. Maybe. Yeah, big head shake. Oh gosh. Oh. Stay hooked. That's a big one. That is a big one. That's how you start Pro Team Journal right there. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, big old pre spawner. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't mess this up, Z. Gosh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I don't know what to do with myself. That, you know what that is? Get the sunrise, that's heaven. I mean, giant. Doop. Look at that, look at him. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you friends, why don't you go grab a cup of coffee? It's gonna be a good, look at that! Okay, so the main thing is this was gonna be, man, I am just leaking everywhere. This was gonna be a, wow, hey, any coffee tubes or Rage Swimmers kids? Um, this was gonna be a coffee tube show, and I think it's still gonna be, but that little 3.25 Rage Swimmer, it's exactly how we started yesterday. And I almost use this as my eyes, okay? Whether I'm using a squadron head, I pour a lot of my own heads. Um, the main thing about this, if you notice how I fish it, even though it's a swim bait, is I scoot it. I just sit there and stitch it on the bottom almost like you would a tube or a Ned rig. But what's, what's funny about this little guy right here is he finds them fast. And after he finds them, I can come back in and mop up. See that I popped it off that rock? Little guy. No? 
Nice one. That's a, that was a textbook. One on one, you hit a boulder, you pop it. Here's the best thing, look. The colors match, right? He's a cannibal. A Strike King Rage Swimmer, whether it's a 275, a 325, a 375, or a 4.75, those are the inches, all the way up to a five and three quarter, but a 3.25 to me is one of the best weapons on earth for a smallmouth bass. I don't know how big he is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stay hooked. Stay hooked. Big black mamba. doing with that rage swimmer <laughs> those are fresh fish fresh fish I used to be called that like I got a re-rig let's take a time out let's go to commercial commercial let's go away for a minute I'm so torqued up I'm not even tying it FG knot this is absolutely what I live for fishing on the Great Lakes and no one knowing they're coming. So all I'm doing is that little rage swimmer. I don't know, maybe we'll throw it all day, you know? Why be scared? When it's twitchy like this in the morning, a little bit cold, fish are a little bit tight. I'm throwing that on a little bitty homemade head, 5 16 but what I'm also gonna do right now, I'm gonna pull out one other weapon. I got me one on a squadron, and this water is really, really, really clean, really clear, uh, on a little heavier head. But that color right there, that green gizzard shad, kind of matches the emerald shiner in here. We might be able to do some damage on that too. Yeah, nah, not a big one. I'm seeing what they're sitting on right now though. Wherever those are at right now, out here on this deeper water, there's gonna be a big near them. Dude, it's so different from yesterday. I mean, they're going to Oh gosh. giant, not a giant. Look how clear. Just a nice one. Okay. No, just a nice one. Not a big one, not a big one. Pre-spawner though. Pre-spawner. I just made the comment to my man, cameraman Brandon. I said, we just about ready to go really shallow. We're gonna do this for like 20 more minutes and then we're going in. What's weird and, and it's, a, it's a problem I have is when I'm on a Great Lake, and granted this isn't a Great Lake, but when I'm on the Great Lake system, I grew up fishing Michigan, Huron, Ontario, Erie. I wanna be in so many places at one time. So the, you look, Pro Team Journal stars at high-fiving, we're doing the Instagram. And the conditions were gonna get so right, so right. We started off a little bit deeper, little rock veins out in seven to nine foot of water, and we're all happy, and I said, no, no. If you're catching that, there's something bigger out there. And this time of year, which is really kind of when this show, you know, the show is going to air, you know, a couple months from now, you can go out and do this. When that magic 49 to 52 degree water happens, there are hundreds coming to you, to the bank. God, look at the size of the bass behind them. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, I'm gonna show you a little switch we did here. 
we're gonna come through and just get them to show themselves with that swimmer. And then we'll come, oh, 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 hi there. Yeah. Oh, you're not small. I went to a Strike King half shell, which is a real, which is a real subtle bait. That sucked. Just having a time. Oh, hoy. I mean, it's gonna get incredible today. So what I was doing, I was fishing that swimmer and I had a couple track it. Look at that, right? I had a couple track it. That's a nice one. But what was funny was, right when I hooked that fish, like I said, they'll get real, real territorial. Right when I hooked that fish, another one drew in and another one drew in from the left. We're gonna kind of ease right back up where I just saw those others. It's fixing to happen. Water's really, really cold, but these fish get so territorial. Hi. Oh, he's having a time. He is having a time. They're so territorial, they'll get on a rock and they'll just sit on that rock all day long. Just a nice one, just a nice one. With what we talked about right when we came out of that breaker wall, that you're looking for that wave that's coming in, that you're looking for that wave. That wave is coming today or tomorrow. No doubt, hands down, bar none, they're coming in to party. And if you don't mind me saying, so are we. Oh, sorry about that. So here's all we did. We're gonna kind of bounce back and forth between that swimmer and that half shell. I actually, I helped Strike King design that half shell several years ago. That is a marauder. That's so unreal, man. I pitch next to that rock and it just goes whoop, Just nice. Oh, just nice. And here's the here's the main the main gig that I always say with those swimmers. Oop, just fell out is always have, always have a comeback bait. Because what's funny is we've, we've seen them meandering, kind of chilling when we've hooked one or two, it kind of draws in the rest of the party. But you're gonna see like different rotations through the day, bumping from the swimmer to that half shell. And that half shell is a lot like the swimmer. It just mimics everything that they wanna kill. The other major thing about a smallmouth is generally when you find one, you might have found them all. That's a big one. Oi. Oi, 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 Look here, look at here, look at here. These are all freshies too. Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? And here's the thing, look at 53. We started this morning right at 50. You just come unhooked. We'll just mark that right there. Look at that piece of brown gold. Be free. Bad gum Great Lakes Leviathan is all that was. Get another one. They're getting on every rock. Can I tell you something real quick? It is 840. <laughs> he ain't gonna quite make the team. But something I said earlier, when we were out there, when we started, I made a comment that eventually Today, you're gonna to see some of that magic. We're there on every single rock and you could feel like it's just starting. Here's the only problem about this lake that has absolutely ruined me growing up when you're catching them that size. Ooh, 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 ooh. 
there's always, there's always something bigger, but that's a pretty dang big one, is, ha ah. And one other thing that I want to kind of dial in, but I mean, this is what Pro Team Journal's all about, you know what I'm saying? Is the water's like frigid cold, like look right here. Go bye, bye, bye. Like look right here, 52.9 degrees, okay? But here's the main thing, is my braid to leader, if you notice, look, my knot's not out yet, my knot's not out yet, my knot's not out, not out yet, somewhere, it's somewhere in there. Okay, so look there, little FG knot, but look how long my leader is. So that's seven foot right there, okay? And then another seven foot, I'll use like a 15 to 20 foot leader whenever I'm on the Great Lakes and in this clear, clear water. The other thing that that FG knot does, is people say, well, gosh, if you, how, how do you, how do, how do you, you know, make a leader that long to where when you cast, it's not catching the knot in the spool, is that FG knot, it just slides right off of it, okay? So if there's ever anything, if you look up Mark Zona uh, FG knot, you'll see it all over, you, you know, that's the only knot I tie for fishing this way, because you can have a long leader and still cast really far. Got him, biggin'. Not as big as I thought. Never mind. It's a good one. Oh, it is a big one. Not a giant, just a nice one. Oh, look, Mr. Swimmer came back into play. Ha 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 ha. And that's the one thing that you're going to see today is you'll see little transitions between. Oh, sure. I mean, why not? You'll see little trans. Ah. Look how pretty that head matches that swimmer. Oh little baby squadron head. Let's go for big ones. All right, like let's try to go really big today. It's just too right. It's like the magic window has opened. Here we go, at the top of the class on a roll. And it's time to run it up, yeah you know. Maxed out, put the pedal to the floor. Hey, on a roll, here we go, here we go, on a roll. Like what's funny is we were a little bit ago, we were seeing them, just starting to see them. And that's the one thing always have whenever you're fishing a moving bait. We, you know, we started this show. If you kind of rewind, we started this show with a, with a rage swimmer and they were, they were active this morning. And then there was a little lull, but whenever, whenever you're throwing stuff, moving baits, always have a backup, always have a backup. And what was funny was I had a couple just tunk, tunk, tunk on that Rage Swimmer. And when you kind of just back it up, you back it up with a, with a drop bait, whether it's an Ocho, whether it's a half shell, a baby Z2, it'll mop up. And that's the weird thing about a small mouth through a day, he goes through a lot of like a big variety of where he changes what he wants to eat, you know, how he wants to attack. And that's the one thing I think we'll see today is I think we'll see flurries with, with the half shell and then I think we'll see flurries with the swimmer. Everywhere we're looking, we start seeing them. A striking half shell is a bait that I helped design totally by mistake. I took a baby rodent taping a Zona show once and I sliced it in half, flat bottom to where it had the kind of the rib top and I hooked it on a drop shot on Lake Ontario and I saw one swimming and I threw it, this is years ago, five pounder eats it. Lo and behold, that's how the striking half shell started. Dude. I was throwing green pumpkin with small purple flakes, best color on earth <laughs> for smallmouth bass. Just all in a bad mood. I get it, I get it. Look at that, look at that, look at him. Just look at him. Would you look at him? Just look at them. <laughs> really, it's hard, it's hard to put into perspective the day that we had today. It, and, and not only that, it's gonna get better. Like, there is no way in hell I am going home. There's a lot more to come. Big one. Big one. Stay hooked. Big black one. Gosh, I'm glad I just switched up. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 
Come here. Come on. I got you. I got you. <laughs> yes. Her. Look at that. Doop. Big black one. How about that, huh? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We let this little critter go. Oh, oh. Big one. Oh gosh, look at that. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, cold water, dadgum leviathan. Not good, not good, showing off like a fool. No, he, now he is just pissed at me. That is a giant. Uh-huh. Oh my gosh. TDC, top dead center. Gosh, that is a, I mean a damn dumb tub of goo. Look at that bass. Clean, no hook holes. Just coming in. Done with a long winter. Ooh. Gosh, that water is cold. Dude, that water is freezing. I mean, I am soaked. I cannot feel like, you know how it feels like you're so cold it's burning? That's what I have going on right now. That one scene in Aliens, where the dude's got the, 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 the tracker. They're like, they're coming closer, they're coming closer. And all of a sudden, well, where are they at? They're all right above them. They're all right below us. They're everywhere. See, and that's the, like, literally. Do me a favor, real quick, real quick, real quick. Just pan through the last, literally, three and a half hours, three and a half hours of bass fishing on this lake from daylight of coming through that breaker wall where you come through there and make the comment, something magical could happen. And it is absolutely, positively, not even lunchtime. That is the magic of this lake. Whoo! Wow. Wow. And you know what? I do this on the Zona show. We, two words, are done. Go be free. Go be free. I don't want to quit. Can we turn this into a two-parter? Like, seriously, like we, we, did the, we did a zone unplug. Make this like the Brady two-part deal when they went to Hawaii with the taboo, mirrors falling off walls, tarantulas and whatnot, walking around on Bobby. We're doing a two-parter. Pro Team Journal, we're done. Made no sense, none of it, did it, huh? Don't you be quiet on me. If there was an MVP of this show, like if there was a Pro Team Journal MVP, that right there. Uh, I use striking S11 sunglasses because right when the lights got turned on, you could see everything that was going on. And at one time, as weird as this sounds, there was big ones all around the boat for two hours. The whole wave of them has come in. Ooh, he's like a redfish. He's got a little spot on his tail, all tatted up and whatnot. Wow. Wow. Ha 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 ha. 
I believe this chapter is done. Easy, cowboy. <laughs> I've grown I've grown up watching Pro Team Journal. You, you know, my my fishing heroes are on this show. You know, you got guys like Denny Brower and Greg Hackney and Kevin Van Dam. And I the weirdest thing is if you kind of look at the way this whole day went, that's what this show is. You you come if you're gonna do a striking pro team journal, if you're gonna do a pro team journal you had better bring it you had better bring it and somewhere during the day today hopefully it got brought <laughs> it got brought I, I think it did i so want to go out there and just kick their teeth in for another three or four hours mm -hmm.